So now let's understand the three trigger points that we already discussed carefully one by one. So the first one is the synchronous push where we use the API gateway and trigger an API that is product slash data and it executes the code present at Lambda. So this is a synchronous call or a synchronous push. Okay, so when you summon the API by sending an HTTP request, you get the response and that's how the synchronous push works. So the second one is an asynchronous event where you can push the request event to SNS or SQS messages to modify or perform operations on the website hosted at S3 or the file hosted at S3 and each of these messages are pushed to an event and these requests will be executed when it is received by AWS Lambda. And the same concept is followed the way we saw with SQS. Okay. So the third one is poll based where you can see we have the lambda polling for the changes from the Kinesis data streams which is stored in the AWS DynamoDB and once it receives the data it will be processed by the AWS lambda. So as you can see we have the AWS lambda polling the data streams from the Kinesis and which in turn pulls it from the DynamoDB and based on that once it receives the data it actually performs the operation. So here is a simple architecture for you using AWS Lambda that you can also implement. So the requirement for this product or the project is that we want to create a mobile application that helps you create and publish posts to your application and that post should be published across all your friends list. Okay, don't think it is Facebook or something. We are completely reinventing the wheel by doing something new. Okay, so what we have to do here is we have to create the mobile application and for the API REST service, we use API Gateway to make API calls to the backend service here which helps us to execute our code by acting as our trigger point and it also helps us to authenticate and process API requests. And to execute our code, uh, we are using AWS Lambda to write our API code and whose task is to find out the list of friends you have. So we are using the code execution point or the trigger point as API gateway and to execute the code the function that we use is AWS Lambda. So that was the whole purpose of using Lambda here and that can be multiple messages that could be posted on the account. So for this we are using AWS SNS to publish the messages onto the message broker so that it can be sent to all the users who are part of your friends list. And you can simply write your code that fetches the list of uh, friends that you have using the AWS Lambda function rather than deploying an managing EC2 instances. So this is a pretty simple example or architecture of using AWS Lambda. So you write the application and you create a trigger point using API gateway and that actually triggers your AWS Lambda functions and whatever output or social media message that you have gets published using the AWS SNS that actually propagates across your friends list in the media app, social media app. And as all of you wanted me to talk more about real time examples and models, let's check one more design for a simple application using AWS Lambda. So the requirement of the product or the project is that you need to create a web application that could be accessed via desktop and also could be used in mobile application which helps the user to get the stats of the cricketers and the teams for the users which would be geolocation based. So let's suppose a user in London would be shown more about the cricketers of England cricket team and similarly for a person staying in India, it would be shown for the players of Indian cricket team obviously. So here what we have done is we have put our HTML static code in AWS S3 bucket and when the application needs to communicate with the backend, it can send an API call to the API gateway. The data of the cricketers and teams are stored in the Dynamo database and the logic for fetching the data as per the country or the location is hosted on the AWS Lambda function. And AWS Lambda fetches the data for the cricketers and the team by communicating the same with the AWS DynamoDB and it passes to the website to host dynamic content based on the user's location. So here what happens is whenever the user is in London or any part of the world by using the API gateways we are able to calculate or we are able to trigger the AWS Lambda function which, which fetches information for the cricketers and the players which are close to that particular region and that is what we are able to show to the user and that actually gives us a sense of hosting dynamic website by using a front-end static code.